Tonight there was a vigil to remember a man who was shot and killed while riding in the back of an Uber. It happened over the weekend. The victim was a well known attorney from the Philippines and was on the way to the airport with his mother when that bullet came through the window of that car and hit him in the head. Action News reporter Annie McCormick, she's live for us at police headquarters with more on that vigil and the latest Annie on this investigation. So heartbreaking. What are you learning? Yeah, great. That's right. Well, at this point, Philadelphia police are not ruling out any motive, but police sources tell us that the reviewing video they obtained near the scene that may prove that the shooter shot at the wrong vehicle. And instead, the Nissan that the victim was traveling in was not the, the intended target inside. Instead, they believe the intended target was in another Nissan that they see on that video. Let us pray for peace, justice, forgiveness, and respect for human life. Members of Philadelphia's Filipino community held a vigil in Powelton tonight near Penn Presbyterian Hospital, where early Saturday morning, John Lalo died after he was shot while en route to the airport in an Uber with his mother. Lalo was an attorney in the Philippine capital of Manila and was here on vacation visiting a cousin. I had no words. I mean, I just couldn't believe it. I mean, especially for a Filipino visitor, it's, it's a... It's pretty embarrassing and, and tragic at the same time. I just want to make sure that everything is, is done to investigate, um, to figure out the purpose, um, and somebody did it. Action News spoke to Lalo's mother, who was also in the vehicle with him. I, I just saw the window on my right side shattered, and when I look at my son, John, he was bleeding. I want justice, not just for my son, but for all those innocent people who died because of those shooting here. <laughs> you see, we don't deserve this kind of treatment. Now she is making arrangements to return her son's body to the Philippines, and the Consul General of the Philippines in New York says his government wants answers from Philadelphia officials. We hope that we would be able to meet with the police commissioner or, or the mayor so we could discuss uh, the, this specific case because our government really places a lot of importance in this one. And police sources also telling Action News tonight that they believe that the shooter may have been in a black Cadillac. For now, reporting live outside of police headquarters, Annie McCormick for Action News at 10 on PHL 17. Gray. So tragic. Annie, thank you for the update.